Maruti Suzuki India launched the Invicto MPV on Wednesday, starting from 24.8 lakh rupees. The company expects the model to further strengthen its presence in the overall multi-purpose vehicle or MPV segment, where it commands around 50% market share. The Invicto is available in three variants and is powered by a 2-litre petrol engine coupled with an electric hybrid system. Speaking to Business Standard, a senior executive at Maruti said the automaker is already a leader in the 10 to 20 lakh rupees price bracket. With Invicto, it is seeing an opportunity in the 20 lakh rupees segment and above. The country's largest car maker sourced the hybrid model from Toyota Kirloskar Motor as part of a global collaboration between Toyota and Suzuki. Toyota Kirloskar already sells Innova High Cross in the domestic market. The same is supplied to Maruti Suzuki with certain changes in design and other elements. In fact, the Invicto shares many design elements with the Toyota Innova High Cross, but it features a distinct grille and front bumper and headlights with Nexa signature daytime running lamps. Another noticeable difference in profile is the design of alloy wheels. Inside, the Invicto has an all-black interior with champagne gold accents and offers similar features as the Innova High Cross, including a touchscreen, panoramic sunroof and safety features. Collaboration of the automakers has resulted in successful cars like Maruti Suzuki's Baleno and Grand Vitara which Toyota rolled out as Glanza and Urban Cruiser High Rider. With the launch of Invicto, which is a rebadged version of Toyota Innova High Cross, Maruti Suzuki continues to share its platforms, powertrains and body variants with Toyota. Does this pattern suggest a growing dependence of Maruti Suzuki on Toyota for certain car models? Puneet Gupta of SNP Global Mobility answers. Maruti uh, has, uh, you know, is collaborating with Toyota, uh, you know, in a big way and in a way is also getting more and more dependent, uh, you know, on technology. But I think, you know, post pandemic, we are living in a new world, right, which means collaboration, right, which means sharing of uh, technology, uh, you know, minimizing the risk, right. Uh, so these days, if you see the life cycle of the technologies is really shortening, right. So basically, if now Maruti is collaborating with Toyota, it's primarily, you know, to obviously, uh, you know, reduce the cost, you know, minimize risk, which will help both the companies. And Maruti has its own identity in India, right? So I think it's very important for them, you know, to also, uh, and, and they are the company, you know, who, who really understands the pulse of the customer, you know, and in a way of collaboration, I think they should not forget the, offering, you know, a kind of a value proposition. The collaboration is a part of an agreement between Japan's Suzuki Motor Corp and Toyota Motor Corp for sharing of technology and production units in India. Last year, 49% of Toyota vehicles rolled out from Maruti Suzuki plants, which include Urban Cruiser, Urban Cruiser High Rider and Glanza. According to Shishang Srivastav of Maruti Suzuki India, Invicto is a much smaller segment which Maruti Suzuki is taking from Toyota. This is not something unusual in automobile industry. So this uh, uh, branding, um, you know, uh, the same vehicle being branded differently by different OEMs, uh, it is quite common in the auto industry, quite common. And uh, 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 he, and the competition is there in the same segment, you are right. And uh, we compete, for example, Glanza and Bellino compete in the in the in the market um, with each other, just as High Rider and Vitara compete, just as uh, Invicto and High Cross will compete. So uh, the, you are right. In each segment, these vehicles will con compete, uh, but under different brand names. Maruti Suzuki's extensive dealership and service network would make after-sales service convenient for Invicto. But Toyota is also known for quality, safety features and service plans. So, is the partnership making Maruti too dependent on Toyota or is it a win-win for both? So, if you look at this uh, relationship between Toyota and Maruti, I think it's a win-win for both of them. It's not going to either hamper 
Maruti's ability to develop the class of vehicles that they were actually specialist in, but it also gave them an experience of connecting with a different segment of, com of customers and also expose them to a different range of vehicles. So in the medium and long term, I do not think that is a challenge for Maruti. And you know, such global cooperation between two different automotive players is something which others could also think of exploring. It is quite common for companies to collaborate. So uh, obviously, uh, I mean, these are uh, issues which are uh, which uh, is is between Toyota and Suzuki Motor Corporation, and I don't think I can comment on uh, the future of uh, what would go, what is happened. The automaker's partnership has resulted in some successful car models rolled out on Indian roads. The launch of Invicto as a rebadged Toyota Innova Hi-Cross may continue this trend. The future of the partnership seems promising as the automakers leverage each other's strength to drive in efficiency and stay competitive. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn. He's about to land his dream job. Business Standard